Good morning, you guys. I just got dressed and put some makeup on for the day. Uh, it is currently nine o'clock. So I'm gonna make myself something to eat. The boys are outside playing. Ivy is in the high chair over here. I'm gonna let them burn off some energy outside before we start some little schooling for the day. And uh, yeah, because if I don't let them burn off energy before we start, they have the smallest attention spans ever. So while they're playing outside, it is actually really crisp and cold this morning, which is beautiful fall weather, but it's really chilly. So they're all bundled up in jackets and shoes and all the things. I did already have my coffee and uh, so. We have our fire here. Huh? And then we go to You want your froggy in the stick? Uh-huh. Me and the cup. Are you going to go fishing? Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make myself something to eat. Uh, I really need to go to the grocery store, considering it's been about two weeks since I went to the store, so that's usually when I do meal planning, grocery shopping, and grocery lists. I did start my grocery list last night. Um, of everything, and then I was starting like meal ideas. So, lots of soups, crock pot meals, warm, cozy meals. Um, but yeah, <laughs> with that being said, this lighting is terrible. Mommy, it's being tight. It's really tight. Tight, really tight? Uh -huh. Oh, did it come off? Uh -huh. Pink. Yeah, so with that being said, we are out of a lot of food. Because <laughs> I think Sunday, let's see, today's Friday, Sunday, I'm going to go grocery shopping by myself. Go in-store and shop instead of doing Instacart. Because I was doing Instacart, I've been doing Instacart for the longest time and just like going to pick up our groceries because with littles, it just made so much more sense for us to do that. But right now, lately, like Ivy's reached an age where I can leave her with Taylor and all the groceries that have been shopped from Instacart are terrible. Like they are terrible quality. They don't do a good job and our produce sucks. And it makes me frustrated that I pay for produce and it's like practically moldy and bad. And so I'm sick, oh, sick and tired of that and over it. So I'm gonna go. He actually, Taylor was like, why don't you just go grocery shopping by yourself and have some alone time and pick out what you need. So that's what I'm gonna do Sunday because he's off Sunday. Okay, my camera battery, or right, SD card is full because it's full of the content for the capsule wardrobe. So I guess I'm gonna be filming with my phone today. I tried to film with a better quality camera, but just how it goes sometimes but anyway yeah so i need to go to the grocery store and uh, i'm gonna do that sunday because he's off and that way i'll have more time so i think it's just gonna be toast for breakfast this morning or um yeah probably just toast while i'm making my breakfast uh i do have a couple things that i want to get done today um i need to put the clothes away that are in the dryer i also need to also want to try and answer comments on my videos because I love your guys' comments and uh, I really try and do my best to answer them or reply to them because I know you guys take the, your time out of your day to write those comments and I love reading them and I really want to sit down and answer them all. So probably maybe do that at nap time and uh, that's pretty much what my goals are. Oh, and school, do some little bit of homeschool read our books and I already emptied the dishwasher this morning. The boys have already had breakfast. So I also was thinking I kind of want to start like a, a quarantine box of things that we don't use uh, specifically like in the kitchen and kind of I guess see by the time we move if we've used any of it. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I know that the minimal mom talks about like a quarantine box. So maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Not sure.
I'm gonna go back through the kids' bins because now that it's like getting really cold, um, there's like short sleeve shirts and stuff in here that they really aren't wearing or they're just stained up and I kept them in here for the warmer days but we're past the warmer days. That way the bins will lighten up a little bit because they're really full. So I already pulled these t-shirts out that are stained up and too small. You got a flower for me? That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, thank you, boy. Thank you. I will. These are pretty flowers. I love those. You're going to find more? You got another one? Okay. Thank you, honey. Ooh, I like the dried flower effect. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take these out. These are all stained up. And I'm totally fine with Honestly, you guys, this is already a lot of clothes for my kids because I do laundry so often um, that they wear practically the same thing all the time. I mean, you guys have noticed in my videos if you paid any. Okay, so that's gonna come out. Look like the nipples bin. It's still full, but it works right now. Okay. So since I just got Noble these three new shirts, I took out two of the short sleeve ones because they were getting dingy. This one I'm going to have to put sneak out of here because it's got like three holes in it and it does not look good. So we're just going to sneak that one out. Okay. Um, these I may put in there because someone gave us those and they're just really worn out. Um, okay, let's see what else is in here. These are also too small for him. Okay. I think that's good. This one is really worn out too. Some of these were like hand-me-downs. I may just keep that for play clothes. Most of their clothes are play clothes, but I hope that's field shirt. Okay. These I'm gonna get rid of because they're kind of dingy. Okay. You know what? I think I am going to donate this one because I have every time he wears it, I just think it looks dingy. Okay, that's a little better. This needs to go in Fields bin. Okay, I'm on to Ivy's bin. I just bought this for her. The thing is, she's been wearing this sleeper and then the one she has on, which is a purple fleece one, because they keep her the warmest at night. And we love them. She is so cuddly in these. Um, and that's the only two she's been wearing. I mean, she's got a few in here that I haven't even touched in a long time because I'm just up to date on the laundry. So I'm gonna go through her sleepers real quick and decide what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. Okay, so this sleeper got too small, so I'm gonna donate that one. And so she's got this one. I love the Jules brand, it's my favorite. That's what these two are, and that one, but that one's... I found this one used on Poshmark, but it's just really faded and stuff. She's got this one, this one, and then the two fleecy ones. So I think four is totally fine. And then these are just other outfits and stuff. Fun clothes for her that I put her in sometimes. Still a lot of clothes for me, but it'll work. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Okay, I just filled the stuff in here. So I'll probably try and find some more stuff to fill it up. But yeah. I'm gonna sit down and answer some comments and then probably either uh, continue to plan out meals for the next two weeks and finish my grocery list. Um, probably read my book, just kind of relax before the kids get up again. The boys played outside uh, the majority of the morning. We finished up our books and we practiced writing Noble's name. Also, I was gonna show you, I bought these 
chalkboards for like $3.99 on Amazon. I bought one each for the boys and then just some basic chalk. And so that's what we've been practicing writing Noble's name on. Field gets one so that way he has something to do and that has worked out so perfectly. Uh, it's, if Noble's doing something, Field has to be doing pretty much the same thing. Anyway, that has been good and fun and Noble's been really enjoying it. I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff done. Organizing some cabinets and I found a couple other things to declutter because we don't use these things. So just this Pyrex, the bowl is kind of cracking, but we never use this little one. It's the only one we have. And then these two cake uh, pans, we never use. Uh, sometimes we would do like cinnamon rolls in it, but we um, would do two so then we could like do a bunch. So I think we'll just start using the nine by 13 because it'll be way better. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna declutter these two and add them to that sack. Okay, so here's that sack. And uh, this was just a jar I had that I had salt in, um, but I just went ahead and decanted the salt into our salt shaker and then put a little bit of it that was left in a baggie. Um, Cause I don't really want to use that anymore. And then this is just a Duplo plane my kids never play with. And then calculator that my kids just throw around the house. And I need to find the other one cause feel how grew these. So I'm not gonna save them. Cause Ivy is not gonna wear this. Good little declutter for today. I'm gonna see what else I can find. Um, but I just encourage you guys, always have a mindset of thinning out your possessions because I feel like in America, we live in this over consumption society <laughs> to where everyone is always buying things. Um, but you always realize like when I did the whole house declutter the other day, I didn't even think to look through those pans, the cake pans, I just overlooked it. Um, and sometimes that happens, you just overlook things. So I'm kind of in a mindset right now of not extreme minimalism, but less is more. So if we can do without it, it's gonna go. <laughs> so anyway. Well, field is up and so is Ivy and I am going to make myself a coffee. So I'm just making the boys a smoothie for after nap snack. And what I do is vanilla protein powder, one frozen banana, and then frozen berries, and that's it. And then just water. And I'm just simple with smoothies. All right, there's their smoothies. Okay, I just cleaned up the kitchen. The boys have some smoothies over here. That's their second smoothie, so they are full from the first. Um, dishes are done, I just loaded what was dirty. So that's all clean. Um, I do want to move this out of the way and clean back there because it is a mess and it's just getting dirty. So we're gonna do that real quick. Good thing I moved this away because evidently Taylor's vanilla syrup had spilled. Cause I remember it spilled a while back and I guess we just thought it was over here. No, it had spilled all the way underneath here. So this was like dried up crystallized syrup underneath here. So I had to get the scraper and scrape it all off, but good thing that's clean. I need to put this actually on my cleaning routine list, which I need to work on that. I'll probably do that with you guys. <laughs> Um, to clean the espresso machine and to move it and to clean all this because I I don't think about this to be honest. Um, so I'm just, I removed the water thing and I was cleaning this and just wiping things down. So we do clean the tray often, so, but yeah. And I wiped down the wall, so that's all clean. Okay, I just finished cleaning this. So that is all cleaned up. I also took that little lamp away because every time the boys would sit up here, it would just fall over. And I know people are like, why do you let your kids sit on the counter? <laughs> I feel like it's just a given when you have kids. 
they climb this chair and sit right here and watch us make coffee and cook and stuff. It's just kind of a way that they can be present in a way. And Taylor and I really don't mind because our next house will probably not have that. <laughs> so um, anyway, it's just kind of cleared the space. Anyway, that looks good. It's all cleared off. Okay, I just laid Ivy down for a nap. It's around like 4.30. And Taylor just took the boys out front to ride their bikes. And so I am starting dinner. I'm melting coconut oil in the cast iron. We're gonna do crispy potatoes. Uh, the chicken just went in the oven. I'm a seasoned baked chicken. <laughs> it's kinda hard to say. Um, and then brownies. Got brownies and chicken in the oven. And then we just opened up a sweet package from my mother-in-law. A seasonal one. She sent all kinds of goodies. Cute little dish towels and pajamas and stickers and all kinds of fun things. So the boys just opened that. And, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up potatoes and I'm gonna let this oil get really hot. So whenever I put the potatoes in, they'll crisp up real quickly. Also, there's gonna be like a fire truck parade go through a neighborhood. The base puts one on, I think every fall fall and spring maybe and they throw out candy and so you just like stand in your front yard and watch them all and I think sometimes police cars come through so the boys are so excited for that because they love that so I think that's gonna be around five or six o'clock is when they're coming through so that's something fun that we're gonna do also today's Friday so we're gonna watch the Lord of the Rings episode is anyone else into that is anyone else watching that no one has commented about that so it might be the only one I usually do not like Lord of the Rings <laughs> because I grew up and my dad and brother watched it all the time and so I just kind of got bored of it. You really like this series, except they make Galadriel look really manly in a way, which she's really feminine, so I don't know. Okay, anyway, <laughs> enough nerding out for a second. Uh, potatoes are crispy. I decided to go ahead and start this pan so that one, the oil is heating up. Can you? you guys I am currently editing <laughs> and Taylor's putting Noble to bed so um hope you guys enjoyed this vlog hopefully soon I'm gonna be able to have time to edit my capsule wardrobe I may just throw it all in one video um that's probably what I'll do but we'll see <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you tomorrow for vlogtober day 17 I always get that mixed up. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.